Hey guys, do you know why the whole Malaysia is facing a flood disaster in so many days? Let me tell you what, it's all because of corrupt government. What? Rain, rain, go away, please don't flood the government. It's all because corruption. What else? Huh? The Malaysia government is so corrupt until the common Malaysian have to pay the price. Look at that old cunning Mahathir. He's a very old rich man. His children also rich and all of them are keeping themselves silent instead of helping out. And what the heck and what the use that the government is announcing 100 million ringgit to repair houses and infrastructure damaged by the flood and the flood hit household who received 1,000 ringgit. 1,000 ringgit, you know how much is that? It's about 200 USD. <laughs> So pathetic! How much money have Najib taken from the 1MDB fund already? It's in billions. Billions, not millions. The 100 million ringgits is nothing. And the 1000 ringgits to each household is a mockery to the citizens. Mahathir and Najib are the same kind. Cunning and treacherous. And that new Prime Minister is a joke. A big joke. No one voted him but he became the Prime Minister. Malaysia democracy is a joke. All the while, until now for a long time, Malaysia government is very corrupt oh. until that the common citizen have to suffer. Every 10 years, Malaysia is having this kind of flash flood and it should be a common situation. However, we are seeing those experts with full of their nonsense to shift the thought to the climate change, global warming or sea level rising instead of looking at how bad the infrastructure Malaysia is having due to a corrupt government, corrupt businessmen and corrupt developers. You see, they just want to build all kinds of buildings We look so beautiful in periods outside but ugly in its quality inside. They are looking to get more investors and buyers for themselves that causes many common Malaysians to face this kind of flood disaster. The dam, you see, the dams in Malaysia are so old and so worn out and they are not building any new dams and not even try to revamp them. They didn't even build more reservoirs. Instead, we only see many rooftop swimming pools trying to compete with Singapore MBS. So now the people are swimming in their homes instead. The sewage and the drainage system is not maintained over the years until it got clogged and this is why we see the whole Malaysia flooding. It's not a natural disaster but man caused disaster and disaster is caused by corruption. In Tokyo, the Japanese have built an underground reservoir a big one with a big tunnel under the city to hold waters to prevent flooding. By Malaysia, the drainage underneath is nothing but full of rusty pipes. Above the ground, we see all the tall buildings, big shopping malls, rooftops, swimming pools, hotels, and luxurious apartments, and all kinds of money making infrastructure. But under the ground, they have been ignoring the environment aspect and also how to prevent any possible disaster. If there were a typhoon in Malaysia, the building would collapse because of the lousy quality materials they have been using. The government is doing nothing for the Malaysians. They know the problems many years but no action was taken until many Malaysians are dead and houses are destroyed. The blood is in their hands of corruption. If the government were really doing for the country, this kind of disaster would have prevented they only spend money when election comes.